Hi everyone, it's Val here with another Ascended, well, it's not an Ascended Master, but yes, it could be like an Ascended Master because these are light code beings who are the keepers of the light codes that light language comes from. And um, <laughs> hi, Lauren, <laughs> you must be a diehard here this early, but um, thank you for being here, Lauren. Um, and I'm just going to put a little ticker down here so you know the keepers of the light codes. So there's really two transmissions today from the keepers of the light codes. They had a lot to say. <laughs> and um, oh, hi, hi, Anne. Um, oh, from Dublin. Oh, my goodness. Oh God, I'm I'm honored. <laughs> anyway, so um, without further ado, I'll um, start this transmission that I received actually on March 28th, and I was just curious. You know, I I I wanted to go in and connect with these beings that handle this light language and the, the codes of light and information that we're receiving like crazy on the planet right now. And I thought, well, I can connect to so many other beings. I might as well try to see what they are going to tell me when I connect. And this is what I got. Begin transmission. Uh, yes, we are the light code beings, as you have named us. We work with the higher codes of light information that works to activate and accelerate your DNA, your body structure, and also upgrade your coded information from long ago. We bring upgrades and information to every cell of your body that we are shifting and changing. So as this new information is received and anchored in your into your bodies, it takes some time usually to unpack each transmission. This may look like thoughts flooding your brain or sudden bursts of energy or subtle shifts and changes to your energetic field that you may notice. Maybe you go deeper in meditation. Maybe you are calmer, more connected. Sometimes you may feel jittery and nervous depending on what is being activated. These shifts and changes are on all levels, in all subtle bodies as well. And what are an example of subtle bodies? This is from me, I had to look it up. The subtle body consists of thousands of subtle energy channels, which are conduits for energies and converge at the chakras. So the subtle body includes the softer features of the body, your emotions, thoughts, sensations, energetic shifts, mind and ego are some examples. So back to the channeling, you will be receiving these transmissions and it is up to you to allow them to anchor into your very DNA. This is your choice to receive these updates to the higher frequencies of light. What are some examples of what the code, what is in the code? Well, beloveds, it might be as simple as a change to allow yourself a heart expansion or to rewire or repro reprogram your brain to connect to your soul self and not your ego. This is occurring on many levels. So, Many gifts will be unlocked within you. This is so that you live outside the matrix where there is no space and time. Thus, in fact, is the location of everything you need to move to mastery as a creator God. Your main goal is to be here now to assist your fellow humans to move through this timing with grace and ease. This is not meant to be a struggle, but rather just an allowing. You will benefit from others who have gone before you, beloveds. Your way to ascension is relatively easy at this time. One thing 
that will help you is awareness, your awareness. Be open to receive. Listen to your soul and your guides when they send you a message. You are loved and guided every step of the way. We are the light beings. End of transmission. So I pulled the Four of Cups for this transmission, and the key word is reflection and meditation. Brings balance back to the heart and indicates a time to reflect on the emotional self, an opportunity to shift stuck energy. How appropriate is that? You can't make that up. You may be feeling out of sync, uncertain, apathetic about life, or not sure what action to take. It calls you to reevaluate your present situation, your relationship, and your emotional attachments. The key is self-reflection, reviewing and reevaluating outgrown emotional parts, shifting energies of discernment to a place of neutrality. The gift of the Four of Cups is to rest it restores the emotional balance and brings peace, renewal, and movement. Of course, that's always it always blows me away how accurate it is when I pull a card to go with the channeling. So there's more. <laughs> Hi everyone in the chat. Hi Sherry, Teresa, uh, Trish. Oh, you guys. Lauren again and Anne all the way from Dublin. Nice of you to be here. So I took this further, actually. My first channeling was me connecting to the light beings and sort of like setting up some kind of a transmission to see what would happen. And so this is what uh, I did. You know, I connected to them. The light code beings are a section or realm related to the angels, like a subsection. That's what I felt. Uh, they place the light field, the light codes into the quantum field. And other humans receive the light language. Each person's job is to transmit light language as their own specific job, as their divine plan indicates. So you'll see a lot of people picking up light codes. They might transmit it by drumming. They might do it through their voice or hand movements or all of the above. It could be through writing. It's many different ways that light language is transmitted. So then I just preface that with what I just said, and then I go in to explain. I asked if I could experience it, and they sent down a structure that looks a lot like a Kabbalah, which I'm not Jewish, by the way, but Kabbalah, I did know what that structure looked like. So I put it on the thumbnail picture of this video so you'd know what I was talking about. And that Kabbalah was radiating light. And then they said, now, okay, let me tell you, it came down through my crown and fit exactly into my body, this glowing white radiating Kabbalah. <laughs> I mean, I felt it come in and it started radiating light. And I mean, it was radiating light when it came in. But and then they said to me, the light beings, now you are a receiver and a sender. <laughs> I, I don't know what that means, but this light grid fit into my physical form. It just dropped down into my body. The image I placed on the video again is the thumbnail that looks very close to what I saw. I asked, can you send me light language now? And I was told to wait for my body needed to adjust. And later that night, I would receive a transmission of energy. And the next day, I would wake up and know something had changed. That's a pretty dramatic thing. So I asked what will have changed. And they said I would be connected to everything and feel love for everyone. So that's pretty huge. So uh, summarized, connected, connectedness and unconditional love would be what I would feel. So that next morning when I woke up, I felt more centered, more grounded and peaceful. 
I did notice that I was feeling more oneness when I meditated. Now today, this morning, I woke up and feel tremendous joy and love in my heart that I can't explain. It's a vibration of joyous excitement humming in my heart and radiating outward to everyone. I was very awestruck. So this morning I went into my Akashic records and I asked about the light code beings and I found that they found that what the light code beings are uh, said was accurate. And that was the end of my experience, just to share it with you. And it's unfolding daily. <clears throat> As I do, Maitreya, uh, his piece between the breaths exercise, I find this amazing bliss in my heart. It's just phenomenal. And it just expands out. I, I can't even describe it. But in researching light code, light life in a book that I have, the encoding of knowledge for metamorphosis and unfoldment from the eternal light into a light envelope of form, the extension of eternal life, light into the multiplicity of the divine self experienced even in physical form, the divine emanations which are sent forth to create the light spectrums and bring the secrets and mysteries of the infinite mind of God from one heavenly hierarchy into creation, which kind of says it all, doesn't it? <laughs> Gosh, I was pretty blown away by that description. I got that from the keys of Enoch, which I had uh, JJ Hertak, I think wrote that book and I had, I have, so many great downloads from that book. That's all I can tell you. But, uh, oh, hi, warrior girl. <laughs> oh, you guys, I can't believe you're all here. You, you're never late, warrior girl. You're just exactly on time. But, uh, you know, they explain more in another transmission for all of us. So um, that comes after... Um, my next um, message is from Maitreya. And then after that, I have the second light code um, transmission, which I think is fantastic. I'm experiencing a lot from those light code keepers. So um, there, I mean, it's not that you just connect and they send you energy. I, I can't even imagine who knew. So I guess ask and you shall receive. Um, <laughs> yeah, rewind, warrior girl, definitely. Um, and, and watch this again, because, you know, every one of us can connect to all these beings of light. Anywhere, ascended masters, angels, our guides, um, these things, all you have to do is ask for them to come into your energetic field and you'll start getting downloads from them. Everybody has a different gift, maybe how they perceive what they're getting. You might get it in dreams. You might have the aha moment. I get thought words in my head telling me, you know, what they're, what they want to say. It just comes in like a heavy blanket comes over me. And until I channel that information out, it sits there. This energy sits there waiting. It's pretty amazing. Uh, oh, were you a girl? You took a Kabbalah Tree of Life class? Oh, that's interesting. Now, there's something very mystical about that. So it is related to the that Kabbalah shape and image, this structure that was dropped down into my body. Um, it was pretty interesting, but I, it certainly did connect me and to connect me to bliss and a whole bunch of things. So, I mean, good things. So um, onward, I have uh, my tray has a beautiful message next at, in a few minutes at 120. So <laughs> don't go anywhere. 120. 
just pop on the next video. And uh, I promise I will not play a intro. <laughs> One intro a day is good enough. <laughs> so you guys, <laughs> thank you for watching. I love you all so, so much. And I'll see you on the next video. Mwah. Love you guys. Bye-bye.